Hello, my name is Butch Kwan, and this is Guitar Aerobics. I'm going to be showing you some exercises with the guitar, but we're going to start without the guitar. And what I want you to do is to pretend like you're holding a ball in this hand, and your thumb is up and down, and if you notice, you've got a lot of motion in your fingers. If your thumb's like this, it restricts your motion, so you want to have your thumb up and down. As far as your picking hand, you're just going to hold the pick between your thumb and your finger, turn it toward the guitar, and just gently relax and imagine that you are picking the string, one-eighth of an inch on each side. This is what it should feel like. So, we take the guitar, put it in our laps, Grab the ball, relax, that, relax the picking hand, and you don't plant the, hick, the picking hand on the guitar. Don't, don't do that. As a matter of fact, my hand almost floats. And we're going to do the one, two, three, four finger exercise. And we're going to turn on the metronome. And I got it set at 80, a fairly slow speed. I'm sure you've seen this one before, but we're going to make it more interesting by adding a shifting element. We're going to go like this. When we're going the other direction down, and we go down. As you get to the bottom, you're going to shift up, not breaking any time, not breaking any strides. Keep your pick alternating about an eighth of an inch on each side of the string. And we'll just keep going, keep going. And we'll, we're going to go to the fifth fret. Start shifting backwards. And shift down. And shift back. Not breaking time at all. Staying right with the metronome. Okay, there's the first exercise. So for the other part of this lesson, we're going to start leading off with our second finger. Two, three, four, one. Picking one eighth of an inch. Each. And remember to shift with your thumb, not your fingers. And shift back down. Okay, all right, so here we go. We're going to be doing the one, two, three, four thing, leading off with a third finger. Three, four, one, two. Up and down.
Now we're going to be leading off with our fourth finger up and down. Also recommend using all up or ascending scales and all down descending scales. I'll demonstrate here. So I generally use these exercises as a, as a warm-up. You can eventually make them quicker. And you can actually shift all the way up to the top here and all the way back. Make sure that you're shifting with your thumb going up and down. And with your pick, keep your arm really relaxed, eighth of an inch on each side, and you're good to go. So good luck and everything, and we'll see you later.